our body consists of different uh, types of cells, and uh, each of these cells have exactly the same genetic information. But this information is interpreted in different ways to make different amounts of uh, messenger RNAs and proteins. And in order to remain healthy, these amounts really need to be precisely controlled. And uh, thanks to new technology, it now becomes feasible to really obtain a comprehensive picture, a census, uh, if you like, of uh, a cell. We use a very sensitive method called RNA sequencing to detect them. By applying sophisticated computer programs, we can estimate the absolute level of these different mRNAs in a cell. With an elegant approach called uh, pulse labeling, we can even determine how rapidly these RNAs are degraded. This was really a huge collaborative project that required expertise from different labs. Wei Chen did uh, next generation sequencing to quantify the messenger RNAs. We used the mass spectrometry to quantify proteins. And then finally, Jana Wolf used mathematical modeling to obtain really a quantitative model of how the information from the genome is uh, transmitted to the proteome. Then, then you investigate how, how long it takes to change the protein level from one state to the other. Sorry, but there are two things. So it's, uh, one is how fast it changes, and, uh, and the other is uh, what are the next uh, steady state level, right? Also, yeah, we change well, so the response time and the new level? Yes. Here it's the amount of change. Yeah. Like a, like Quantifying proteins yeah. requires advanced mass spectrometry. And uh, essentially, a mass spectrometer is a balance for proteins and can be used to identify and to precisely quantify proteins. And in this project, we did not only measure the absolute cellular amounts of uh, different proteins, but we also quantified their turnover, so their synthesis and uh, degradation rates. And uh, this information was then used by uh, the lab of Jana Wolf to precisely characterize how gene expression works. The aim of our overall project was to characterize the gene expression cascade on a quantitative level. Um, the specific aim of our modeling part was to predict the synthesis rate of mRNAs and protein based on the absolute quantification of their levels and the degradation rates. And the results, the overall results of the project show that the translational efficiency is the single best predictor of the protein levels. So in the end, proteins are really the key actors in almost all biological processes. So in order to understand how a cell works and what goes wrong during diseases like cancer, we need to understand why certain proteins are up or down regulated and also what the dynamics, so the turnover uh, of protein is. And uh, we actually found that most of the data that we obtained in mouse fibroblasts can also explain changes in protein levels in human breast cancer cells. We make this information available now to the scientific public and uh, hope that it's also useful for other researchers working on other diseases.